Here he is. Is that a Mac Weldon shirt? It is. Wow, you are styling there, well, Mac Weldon. It. Okay. You now the heat wave, it's, uh, it's got those uh, kind of under armpit sweat pads. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, nice. Wow. Nice little feature when you live, well, anywhere along the West Coast. Or, exactly. So. Exactly. Did you see it was 116 in Canada? Wow, that was nuts! Yeah, like a town burned to the ground too with the wildfires. It's, oh, did it? I it's didn't crazy. see it. Yeah. All right, so today we have an exciting product. <laughs> it's exciting to me anyway. <laughs> I've told you how much I like portable batteries yes. and how much I like flashlights. Oh. What happens when you combine those? You know. Yeah. Ex oh. It's like we Christmas. just. You know what? You. You know what? Your wife. She nailed you. Uh, she was. She was like. What'd you guys do like on your date? Did you like go to like Best Buy or anything like that? I mean, Probably. <laughs> okay. Probably. <laughs> Definitely the second date. <laughs> Maybe Circuit City back then. Oh, so, yeah. Circuit City. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, it was awesome. But uh, here, take a look at that. Oh, it's light. It is. Oh, wow. You know, it's. I'm not here to review a flashlight, though. That's only one thing that it does. And it, look, it has a little uh, compass on the bottom. Yeah. It tells me no temperature. Yeah. This. Uh, the problem that this little gadget addresses is saving the day when your car decides to quit on you. Okay. And no one is around with jumper cables. Okay. So maybe it's an older car, you left the old overhead light on, you know, hard to imagine now, but maybe it's really cold outside and it just won't start in the morning. So the main purpose of this is a portable car jump starter. So here, I'll show you those too. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, the smallest jumper cables you've ever seen. They are. You know, I could have used these the other day, the 1946 pickup truck. Really? Yes. Nice. I bet it would work. I, you know what? I bet it would. Well, portable you know, car jump starters aren't exactly a new thing. They've been around for quite a few years. They come in different shapes and sizes. They can be bulky. They can be small. You don't see a lot that kind of have all the, uh, all the little features on it. But you're actually really excited about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> they're like, wow. Yeah. It's, uh, now, I'll tell you what it's supposed to do. This is the Jump Smart 10-in-1 from Limitless Innovations. It's supposed to jump cars, trucks, SUVs, boats, ATVs, even vehicles with eight cylinders. Oh. I didn't have one to test that on, nothing that powerful, but it's got the other stuff you mentioned. It's got the flashlights, 330 lumens. Like oh, that, right? yeah. <laughs> Three settings, strobe, flashing red light. It's, you mentioned the compass, little thermometer, reflective stripe. Um, under here is where you plug in. The starter. Wow, it's even got that. an audible alarm for emergencies. I don't recommend pushing that. It is kind of loud. Is it? A little bit loud. And right there, a couple of USB ports if you need to charge your phone too. You know, that's smart. Yeah, yeah. That is. It's just, it's, it's kind of handy. So along those lines, it's got the safety features, charge your phone, comes with a handy little carry case for all the chargers. You can keep it, depending on the size of your glove box, you can keep it in there. Um, I didn't have a boat or an ATV to test it on. Don't have a V8 either, but what I do have, and I'll save it for the review, uh, an older SUV that's been in our family for a long time. <laughs> a, a Jeep Grand Cherokee that, uh, Just it's a 1995. Die. Wow, how many miles? 100 and, I want to say 140,000. Oh, you got 60,000 yeah, miles left. So it's, uh, that's but awesome. it, it has trouble staying charged if you don't drive it every couple of weeks. It happens when you're old. So I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's why this was the perfect thing. This, okay. this, this will be the perfect situation. Right. I know a lot of modern cars have the, the safety features where you can't really discharge a battery, but this seemed like the perfect thing to try it on. Okay, so when you come back, yeah. we're going to get the... Does this little flashlight down. Does it really work? Your car? Okay, so Ben, our trusty news director, is here once again to talk about his flashlight jumper <laughs> Cable uh, innovation. Yes, and I know everyone is excited. Oh, this is I it. Do you hear the music? I do. Okay, this was the battery update music <laughs> from years ago. We're bringing it back. We are. We're bringing it back. We're bringing it back. Well, Good job finding that mic. Awesome. Well, here we go. So yeah, like I said, you got it's a flashlight, but it promises to also jump your car. It's got the compass, thermometer, flashing lights, all that. But does it do the primary purpose? I mean, it's called the Jump Smart. Yes. So, like I said, we've got a uh, 95 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo. Ooh. Yeah, don't drive it. We, we name our cars. Its its name is Marcy. You know what? When Barry, I think Barry had one of those ones. Yeah. And we were just dating. And, uh, and he pulled it into the parking lot. And I, I'm listening to it go like, and I kept going, 
10 cents, 10 cents, 10 cents, 10 cents. Because every time it goes like... <laughs> well, this thing looks pretty good. Uh, my wife drove it for a number of years, then it passed it down to our oldest son. Her, you know, and that's got, a great car for a yeah, kid. And he got something newer, now it's our other son's. Nice. So it's it's been in the family for a little bit. Now, like I said, 26-year-old, if it doesn't get driven every two weeks or so, you're going to be jumping it. So guess what we didn't do for two weeks right. to try this out? So we go up to it. Walter just clicks, open the hood. Not even the little uh, light under the hood will come on. Battery's dead. So we take this out, unscrew it, connect the... Dad to the rescue. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we connect the, the jumper cables, and it's just connect the, you know, red to the positive, black to the negative terminal. As soon as we did, the light under the hood just come like, oh. right, just right up. Nice. So it's like, oh, it wasn't just like flickering or anything. Go in, turn it, started right up. Okay, so it works. Yeah. And okay. It, How long does it take to charge the flashlight battery thing? It, it came with a partial charge, so okay. I think a couple hours. But I haven't had to charge it since oh, then. Oh, really? And I've had to jump the car twice at least over oh, the course of nice. a few weeks. Okay, let me see that thing again. Yeah. That's awesome. And it still has, last right. I checked, Okay, like now I'm geeking bars. out over <laughs> a flashlight with jumper cables. What happened to my life? I'm yeah, not see, sure. There you go. You just didn't know that was something I didn't know you that. I was really excited by That's this. That's why i got to tell you some of these things. This is great. So, and it worked? Okay, so how much is this bad thing? That, it retails typically for about 140 Occasionally on Amazon, like right now, uh, you can catch it for $99.99. It says a full charge uh, lasts every, every three months. Is that what it says? Well, they want you, like, if you're going to take this, I say it's good for road trips because they don't want you leaving it in the car the whole time. It's not good for hot and cold all the time. They want you to, whether you use it or not, charge it every three months. Oh, I see. Because it's going to, you know, just lose power over time. And okay, I'm sorry. The price is how much? 140 normally, but <laughs> 99.99 right now on Amazon. Okay, well, I think 140 to me sounds expensive. Mm -hmm. 100 bucks, I think that's for something like that. Yeah, like I said, I haven't tried it on a V8, but if it, you know, if it charged a, or you know jumped a Hemi or a a big F-150 or something, that'd be pretty impressive. Can I impressive. take that home with me? Because, I mean, honest to goodness, the 46 pickup truck is yeah. sitting in my driveway with the windows down because it's either that or I have to push it into the garage. Yeah, give it a shot. I've got the other accessories in the in the office, too. Okay, so, so yeah. here's the deal. I will let you know if it works on the 46 pickup truck. Yes. I will. And read the full review I've got. It's commando.com. All the details, some things I didn't talk about. And links if you want one. Mike, do you have any questions? Oh, no, I, I was just, uh, you actually answered him because I was wondering how often you have to charge it if, and oh. how long it's supposed to. So it was like three months. Mm -hmm. And that makes sense. But I've had it for weeks and still have three, you know, and used it to jump a car twice and still has like three Unless months. you're going to need to jump the car this weekend. I could give Shouldn't it back have to you. To. I think we did a couple days ago. Oh, did you? Okay. <laughs> After you're done with it, you can give it to me because I got a motorcycle I can get charged. Try it out, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's those so too. funny. You know, because we're all too cheap to go buy one. <laughs> we're just gonna pass it around the office. All right. So what's next? Tell me. Tell me it's not a battery. Tell me it's not jumper. To give me something like that's like that's exciting. Okay. Well, the next thing is a little bit more practical. You know, the air tags. I'm not reviewing the air tags, but. The little cases, the little keychains. Yes, they're so the expensive. The cheap ones, the expensive ones. I kind of, I've got a few of them. Now, can you can you find one that is that makes the AirTag like? Well, the AirTag is waterproof to a certain extent, mm -hmm. um, but like something for like a dog, because I saw one that because I was going to put one on Abby that you put the AirTag in and then you you put the dog's collar around it. They do make some. Yeah, they make some specifically. I even saw like Casemate, that's a brand. Last couple of days I haven't got emails that now they have a, a dog attachment for the air tag that goes on college. Yeah, I'd like to look at that. So, you can send me a link to that. Because okay. I think the air tag would be well, yeah. the thing is is that okay, talking about paying, we're just talking to this guy. Yeah. About, you know, paying monthly fees. I mean, if I can put an air tag on Abby and I don't have to pay $180 a year, <laughs> then I'm gonna put the air tag there on you go. All right, good job, Ben. Thank, Thank you. you.